Well, for the first keynote, let me present to you Chris Weisselpalm. He's co-founder and CTO of Veracodes. He is well known by Loft Greg from Loft Heavy Industries. He was one of the researchers. And uh, he was author of the book The Art of Security Testing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Perpetual Insecurity Machine. Internet Explorer, and people didn't really 
know how to write buffer overflows pretty efficiently for Windows yet. And Microsoft said this vulnerability is, is theoretical because there wasn't any tool out there that even they could use to see the impact of it. So they said it was theoretical, and then, um, so I came up with this tagline, Moth making the theoretical practical since 1992, which is when we started. And we actually had this up sort of on the masthead of our website, if, if, you can, if you're old enough to have uh, visited back in the 90s. So I want to go through four different major classes of, of vulnerabilities that are really you know, endemic to the platform that um, is out there and widely deployed, and how this maps to this hype cycle, so maybe we can learn something from it. So it starts with Wi-Fi. 1999, Wi-Fi comes out. It's not broadly available yet. It's, you have to have a PCMCIA card. They cost like $200. Um, it's not built into the laptops. So it's a little bit expensive. Um, but you know, over the next year or two, researchers start to get their hands on it. And in 2001, I went to a presentation at DEF CON, uh, DEF CON 9, and uh, I don't know if anyone recognizes that guy over there, um, but that's uh, Peter Shipley. Uh, quite a colorful character, but also a really good uh, security researcher. Um, and Peter Shipley gave a presentation on war driving. Now, I think people were, you know, they were finding networks, but what he did was he really kind of you know, came up with the whole process of, you know, what's the software to use, what are the antennas to use, you use GPS, and you can, you know, and you go around and cataloging where, uh, where websites, uh, I'm sorry, where uh, access points are. Uh, and then uh, in the same year, uh, 2001, Adi Shamir came out with the first crack of web. Uh, and it, was, it wasn't very efficient, it took a lot of CPU cycles, but it was pretty clear that web was fundamentally broken from this. So these are two things that are hitting the news in 2001. And what do businesses do? It's theoretical. Just use web. They say just use web, and they go on and they just keep the, they just keep deploying the technology. It's like they're not listening at all. It's like, don't you get it? People are going to drive around and find your access points, and then. You know, there would be other cracks in web, and you're going to be totally owned. Um, this, is, this is the denial phase that businesses have, and we're really just not listening to people. So now, you know, a couple more years have gone by. It's now 2002, and now it's really widespread. It's on the cover of B it's on the front page of BBC's website, um, and uh, Tools like NetStumbler and Kismet and all these tools are starting to come out. And, and so this is this attack automation phase. Now everyone's doing it, right? Um, and so that's going on over sort of the mid-90s. And, you know, but businesses are still just installing this stuff and using web. And then what happens? This is actually dated 2007, but the attack actually happened in 2005. TJX in the U.S. has thousands of stores. They're one of the largest clothing retail chains in the U.S. And they, they get owned. Six years after the technology was you know, first available, four years after researchers said, don't use this stuff, it's got problems. Um, and obviously lots of places have gotten, have gotten attacked. Um, to some degree, you know, web has been solved with WPA, um, but obviously there's all kinds of problems still with, with, with Wi-Fi. You know, I don't put Wi-Fi, turn Wi-Fi on when I'm at a security conference. Um, people still have to know not to connect to that free public Wi-Fi SSID. You know, I mean the technology is just fundamentally has, is, is fundamentally broken and it's still, it's still pretty much that way. It can be used in limited environments in a secure way, but in general it has major problems. Now, I don't think there's any band-aids really applied for Wi-Fi that ever really happened, so that doesn't really apply to this, uh, to this. But, you know, today, there's still problems with Wi-Fi. So, let's go on to another, uh, another technology platform, web applications and SQL injection. 